today I want to talk about discouragement. Because I'm just hearing God said speak about discouragement. So I said, discouragement yes. what can I talk about because I have a message that I prepared. Discouragement is a weapon that devil uses to destroy your hope. Whomever is having hope is having a strength again. When you see that there will be tomorrow, you get that strength again and say, I will reach there. So when you meet discouragement, because around you, there are many discouragers. And all these discouragers are saying, forget about what you are hoping. It's not part of you. It's not part of you. Many Christians today, they are afraid. Because they had many negative words. That has affected their strength. Because he who is having strength, he won't see to one place. He will rise up again and walk again. No matter how many times he falls. Falling was not the last issue. It's only when you are discouraged and you accept that discouragement you lose your hope. And you tend to say, let me give up. Giving up shows that you don't know where you come from. Because if you know that God took you from becoming embryo, you become a person of this figure. Always you will rise again when you fall. And you won't look how many times you fall. Why? Because you will be overcoming your discouragers. Your discouragers are there to tell you that where you are going, you are going to matter. The reason why you are discouraged is because of a bigger vision, bigger property, bigger stability, bigger progress, bigger miracle. Whatever bigger belongs to you. But if you are discouraged and you forget that where you are won't be compared with where you are going, you can lose what God has prepared for you. I have read in the book of Genesis, but if you go to the book of Numbers, you will find uh, the Israelites who were taken out of Egypt. With a big hand of God. When they moved out, they were rejoicing. They overpowered the powers of Egypt. Always the power of Egypt makes somebody to be a slave. They overpower the slavery mentality. But when they were on the road, we found that slavery mentality was not gone. Because when you are slave mentally, you are easily to be defeated. It's easy for you to fall down. The Bible says, when they approach 
A land they were supposed to be taken. The land of promise. We found discouragers. They began to say, the land you are going to. This land is the inhabitants of it. In other words, what God has promised you will never come to pass. They began to say, where you are going, you will never survive. And they asked themselves why. They said, they are children of Anak. They are giants. There is no way you can overcome them. But I love one man who stood up. He said, if God has spoken, let us go at once. He was saying, let us not think when discouragers discourage you, you don't need to think. You need to move from where you are. Whoever does not speak your language is a discourager. If you stay with him, you'll be blindfolded. You won't see where you're going. Your destiny will be shattered. We see Caleb says, let us go at once. It means we are not discouraged because God has spoken. We are taking what God has spoken as it is. Despise whatever they are. There are many of you here. You are discouraged. I've got a word from God. Just move at once and move forward to your destiny. I don't know if you are hearing that. The Bible shows that God was able to destroy all the discouragers. Can I tell you this? The discouragers are there because they fail on their own courage. Can I say it again? They are there to discourage you because they are failure on their courage. The reason why they say you can divorce is because they have been divorced. The reason they say you will die poor is because they are dying poor. There is nothing better they can speak. They speak their situation and they present it to you so that you become a failure like that. But today, you can rise up and say, I might have fallen seven times. I might have been divorced seven times. But I'm rising up again. I'm rising up again. I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. Listen to this. Discouragers are there to tell you where you are going. Many of you have not yet arrived where you are supposed to be. You are hearing people say you won't make it. You will suffer. It's, they are telling you many formulas which does not even derive an answer. Don't look at their formulas. Take, Take Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. You will see that you will be encouraged to face reality. I love Romans 5 verse 5. If you read from 5 to 6, it says, Romans 5 verse 5, Paul says, Now, the Bible says, now we have hope. We have got hope. Why? Because the spirit of the Lord has been poured in our hearts. So, 
The reason why we cannot be discouraged is because the love that is in us because of the spirit of God that produce hope makes us not to be disappointed. Many of you, you are disappointed. You don't want to try again. Don't forget this scripture. The scripture is saying the spirit of the Lord that is in our heart makes us to have love so that hope will be established. The moment we see when we have love of Jesus Christ we won't be discouraged of whatever we are facing. Why? Because the Bible says hope does not disappoint. Today when you are here don't be hopeless trust the living God. Why? Because where you are going, your discouragers, they will never, leave, they will never leave, go there. That's why they are discouraging you. They see it impossible because they cannot reach there. They see it impossible because they cannot touch there. I don't know if you are hearing that. That's why I say, my friend, where are you discouraged? Where are you discouraged? Let me try to take you to one scripture. When Moses died, he was a man of miracles. He was a man who speaks with God. But the Bible shows Joshua was discouraged. When Joshua was discouraged, he began to go away from people. He remembered that he's supposed to be alone. But when he's alone, it was more he was discouraged. And God began to speak to him. And say, hey, Moses is God. But that doesn't mean it's the end of the world. This is the beginning of your assignment. When you trust people, when they leave you, it is the beginning of your assignment. It is the beginning of you to become the head. Moses is God. But you are not God. Many of you. People left you. They are God. So that your name. Must be known. I'm here to tell you. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. They left you. Because they were in front of you. When they move away. You are the one in front. You are the head. You are not the tail. You are not the tail. Don't think like the tail. You are the one who is supposed to open the road. The head always is the one in front. I'm here to tell you the reason why you are discouraged is because you are in front. I prophesy you this week. Whatever your family your brothers and your sisters, your generation, they have not yet encountered. I see you encountering it. Blessings. Blessings. In your life. In your life. Don't be discouraged. There is victory. In your life. Let me try to tell you, when discouragement comes, number one, discouragement comes in the beginning. When you want to start something, discouragement will come. Number two, discouragement comes when you are close to breakthrough so that you must turn from the door you are supposed to be entering. Many of you already were close to the door you are supposed to be entering and discouragement came and you turn back. I want you to return back with the speed and you enter your position. You enter your house. You enter your victory with that fear. I prophesy you I prophesy you. Tell yourself this week that there are miracles that are starting by you. They are new and they are starting by you. 
I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Listen. When you see people leading and they go up, they have got a big heart of courage. When they face what they are facing, they try to tolerate as if they are seeing where they are going. There are many people that you can name them. If you can question how far they reach this level, they will tell you that there were many discouragements that were to make them to turn back. Don't stop what you are trying to because do. Because what you are trying to do will make you to be you. What you are trying to do will establish you to be you. Why? Why are you facing why that? That is why you are facing that. Because, because it's becoming big. big. It's small. But, but it's about to be big. In the book of John, Though the beginning is small, but the latter will flourish. I prophesy, you will flourish. You will flourish. You will flourish. You will flourish. This is the week of flourishing. I say you are flourishing. Tell somebody say, hey, I'm surrounded by discouragers. But I'm not looking at them. I'm surrounded by discouragers. But they won't take my attention. I'm surrounded by discouragers. But I'm still seeing the light of where I'm going. And I'm not turning back because my God said I'm the head. You must check the company around you. The company is telling you that you are going for. That company is telling you. When they gossip you when you're not there, they're telling you. They're telling you you're you very big. When you appear, they smile. They're telling you. Whoever you talk about is your leader. Whoever you talk against, he becomes your leader. If you criticize somebody, you are lifting him. You are putting that person on top of your head. You will never bypass that person. If you want to see, that you are going to remain small. It's only when you open your mouth and you talk people. Christians, they don't talk people. They speak the word. Because the word creates, they change their situation. Are you hearing me? Just say, my friend, I'm not tired. I'm going there. I've got courage. I'll reach there. I'm not tired. I want old people, I told you, who are above 60 years to wed in Charismatic Church. They must have dreams. When I read in the book of Jeremiah, it says, oh, Jerusalem is like a desolate. There will be a joy of the bright and the bride. And there will be a peace. And there will be celebration. Listen, I'm here to tell you, there will not be a Joy. Maybe in your house, but I'm prophesying that joy in the house. They might not be heavy. You in their company, but they will search for you until they find you. Your discouragers, they are about to bow. I said they are about to bow. You must check all the time if you are very big. You realize that what you are hearing about you is a full story of showing you a failure. They can quote you and talk about your failure. They don't know that anything that is happening to you. 
is for the glory of God. They don't know that it must be rejection is for the glory of God. It must be hatred is for the glory of God. They don't know. When they find topic out of it, they try to find something to nail you on the cross. And they forgot that already you were nailed with Jesus. When you rose, you rose with him. You are no longer on the cross. Which I'm telling her from they were speaking about a bad person. They don't know you. About TV, a bad person. Say I'm a bad person. Even when I'm buried, I can resurrect. Even when I'm blocked, I can pass. Call me a bad person. Because I'm unblockable. I'm unstoppable. I'm invisible. When you come to reach me, you won't Find me oh, there on the bed. Your job hey. is to talk Mere about no me. Who can I believe? Hey, when you hear them speaking, you must know that they were unable to wish you. You must know that they were unable to wish you. They want a way for you to answer so that when you answer they will hold the words that you've spoken so that they can enter in you. Ella, a Christian you don't know that person. Yeah, even though he's quiet it's like he has spoken or he's spoken even though the person is quiet. Even though you are quiet God is speaking for you. I don't know if you're hearing me. Don't worry about your discouragers. See where you're going. See your destiny. See that you are. You are the head, you're not the tail. You are the first, you're not the last. You are your tail, you are not beneath. If you believe, shout hallelujah. God said I must prophesy Whatever you heard was negative. Can you just make it positive? If they positive. say you are suffering, make it positive. They say you don't have a car. Uh, make it positive. positive. They just make it positive. Oh, no, it will positive. happen. The moment they say, oh, because many of you, you have got family meetings. And those family meetings are based and on looking who is prospering. But that family meeting, you are about to crash it oh, to zero. Because that family meeting was, family was sitting by your name. Now when they gather hey, together, they, they will scatter for your sake. The Bible says, Says, they come to you seven one way, but they will run seven ways. I prophesy victory this week. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was sitting there, what I heard was, are you still giving them scriptures? I'm, I've got a message that I wanted to read. I said, go and prophesy them. I'm prophesying you now. Can I prophesy you? Your discouragers. This week, they will congratulate you. This week, they will congratulate you. Ah! 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 about to congratulate you. They will say, receive it. They will say, receive it. They will say, receive it. That you will rise again. Say, I will rise again. I'm rising again. I'm not dying yet. I'm rising. I'm not dying yet. Why? 
I see them fighting. I see them falling. I see their mouth open. They are surprised. But when they come to you, they will say, Get up again. When I wear my you must rise again. You must stand up again. You must shine again. You must take your confidence.